D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified and now in this video I have the top test PT330 and this is a combustible gas leak detector it also incorporates a temperature and a humidity sensor built in all right um full disclosure uh top test i'd send these devices to me for trial and review i have not purchased them with my own money all right so now that the, now that, that is out of the way i want you to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and smash that bell icon so when I upload videos like these, you get them right away. All right. So what am I gonna be doing, guys? What I'll be doing today? I have a train rooftop unit here, a train RTU, and I'm going to um, be firing up the heating furnace right here, and I'm going to be uh, disconnecting the igniter. It's going to be a little bit of a pain because there's wire nuts in here, as opposed to. Uh, the plug but um so we're disconnect the, the, the igniter so we'll have natural gas coming out of the ex, uh, exhaust and it would be uncombust gas or well it would, it would be combustible gas but it would be unburned as pure gas I want to see if the detector can pick it up also another test I'm going to be doing I'm going to fire this furnace up as it would normally and just uh, see if the CO exhaust will be de detected by this device right here. All right. Um, I did a review on one of these, a smaller version, um, or a smaller one to this. And um, that one wasn't something that I would re really use because of the sensitivity, the ranges. And this one here, however, has a very high sensitivity. All right, so I think this goes up to 10,000, uh, let's see here in the manual, 10,000 parts. Let me see. Okay, so here's the specifications. Right there, it was 50 to 10,000 ppm. It's pretty cool. It's just, that's good, you know, that's user. I could, I could work with that. So this one, I think I'll be leaving it in my toolbox. I have two pieces, however, and... Um, if you're interested in receiving one of these for free, just hit me up in my DM, Instagram, and um, I'll tell you how you can qualify to receive one of these for free. So yeah, I'll be keeping this in my toolbox. So let's get into the review now. Um, in the box, you have the device, obviously, this little carrying tote. Um, like I said in my other top test uh, review videos, this is no good. You're going to be logging around in your tool bag. Um, this carrying cloth will not hold up. You need you need a hard case. All right. Um, so that's that. Um, here you have this is the CO or combustible gas sensor up top right here, and then I think right here is your temperature sensor and this side right here is your humidity sensor um, also that what comes in the box it says here it uses a, a three AAA batteries that was inside of the box here as you can see the batteries are already installed you remove the little screw right here to get the batteries okay obviously got the manual and clearly you can see that it's in it's in English we got an English language and we have a Quite a few other languages in here as well you know okay so that's that um for the device you can select um celsius fahrenheit and that's a rather loud beep um you can turn that beeping off here's your sensitivity level I guess you can't turn the beeping off. That's the beeping for whenever I detect 
um, combustible gas. So keypad beeping, you can't turn it off. So you got me a medium sensitivity. You have high sensitivity, so three levels. And you have, this is the auto power off function. Once this is on, the device will automatically power off, power off on its own. Um, I don't know if you, the backlight is always on here. Um, turn it off. Turn it on. It's warming up, making itself ready. All right, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go ahead now and get the heat started on this unit. Get the furnace started. And the first test I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it with the, let the furnace go through spaces and fire up and just sense the carbon monoxide exhaust and see if my detector or this detector can pick it up. Uh, if you if you wanna know where you could find this guys, this is on Amazon, amazon.com. And also uh, Top Test as a website, www.toptesttools.com. You can find this over there. All right, so let me uh, turn this furnace on. All right, so I have the app for this site. Here's our system, heat, and submit. Set point, of course. Let me make it. What happened here? I think it have crash. Okay. So we're firing up. So I'm gonna start off with a uh, low sensitivity. Alright, so we are on. Let's try a higher sensitivity. Thought it was on low sensitivity at first. Let's try low sensitivity, low sensitivity again. All right, so you can see that the the, the bar goes up when it when it senses the get the combustible gas. You can see this little indicator right here on the on the outside. Let's do the medium sensitivity. Medium. So just so you know, the exhaust from this furnace is really hot. Let's see what temperature I got here. 124 <laughs> right so that's what's going on all right so that works um that's the combustible gas it is co2 so that does work um what i want to do i want to disable the uh glow igniter and so just to sense the natural gas through here all right stay tuned all right the, so the furnace is currently off have the igniter disconnected over there see 
and there's nothing going on. This is the gas valve just open. Let's see if I get any detection. Yep. Oh, strong. That's smelling really strong. So it's trying to light right now, guys. But there's no glow igniter, so it's just natural gas. That's just natural gas triggering this device right now. And obviously the, the gas valve is going to close after it realized there's no uh, there's no ignition and um, furnace more than likely is going to lock out but it's going to stop soon so now yeah I think the gas valve is closed right now so that's just fan moving air through the furnace there's nothing going on okay until it tries again and you can see now the temperature has also dropped from 120 to 97 in the 90s all right, so yeah, this is a pass. I would say this thing right here, you see it real time, it does work. And you can use it in your, you know, put it in your tool bag and use it as a tool. Um, to try, there goes, it goes, goes the gas valve once again. Let's see. Here it goes again, I can smell that gas too. I can smell that gas. All right, don't let, don't let it match. <laughs> All right, and that's on a medium sensitivity. We got high sensitivity. All right. So uh, you can uh, f I find this on Amazon, like I said. Uh, and if you're interested uh, to get one of these for free, I would tell you. Uh, I tell you to go and uh, hit me up on my Instagram, DM me. All right. Once again, um, that's the review. This one as well, I'll be putting it in my toolbox, my tool bag, because um, I can use this. Here goes the gas valve again. Let me just turn this thing off before uh, something crazy happens. Wow. It's picking up that down here and the cover is on that's crazy it was picking up the gas from up top there this is very sensitive this is like pro level um sensitivity what's the price let me tell you the price okay so it's 32 dollars on amazon okay so there you go 32 dollars 99 us um yeah, I guess uh, that about wraps it up. Um, this video, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. All right, so again, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. This one is going to be added to my tool bag. It has the sensitivity of a, of a pro combustible gas detector, 10,000 ppm. Um, so I'm going to be hiding this one to my bag. I don't know about the durability. Right? But I could tell you it works. You can see. And then as a, as a bonus, you have these temperature and humidity sensor on it. Alright. That's it, guys. I'm out of here.